set today, get it towed, and get it up out of here. It's been hiding here for a couple of months, so now we're going to get it up and start working on it. So somebody hit it while it was sitting over here, but that's fine. And uh, that's it, just waiting on the tow truck to come and uh, we can get it towed out of here. All right, finally got the car here. Definitely it's here. We got a whole bunch of missing shit. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to put this some um, holes here. I guess, what the fuck is that? Oil line, missing alternator, missing fan, and what else is missing? Starter. So if I put those three things in, it should start, maybe. And um, that's what I'm trying to get to today. Uh, so this is number 810. 200 bucks paid for it, so I'm just trying to use some parts that's over here to uh, get to it and see what we can make of it. The is on, but this piece right here, I forgot what the hell is it called, but it's supposed to go in the back of the alternator, right over here. So I gotta take that back and figure out how to take that off and add that back on, back the screws out and everything. There's a missing tensioner right here, so I have to go get one of those. So I cannot put the belt on today, so I'm gonna try to go and yeah, it just came from underneath the car put the jack back down very tight spot so we cannot do it today because of i don't have a wrench to fit on this shit ratchet so that's stopped me from starting the car or see if it at least runs so i gotta come back another day just like i said in another part of the video and actually do something so Searching around here, I don't have nothing. Nothing. Got WD-40, I got a belt, brake clean, sandpaper, some old stuff from the taxi that I sold. Yes, I did sell the taxi. I did not want it anymore. Cop cars are the thing. Cop cars. All right, we're here at a junkyard now. You can see all here. And we're coming to get this pulley, because that's what I need. And I think I need that bracket here for that too. That little bracket. So, that's what we're gonna take off today. Get this little thing, because I need that. So, let's go ahead and take it off. Real simple. Also this fan I need also so if the car runs I'll use this and get some other parts off of here too so at least we know there's something there So everything looks like it's a go to even crank it. So it has oil in there. This that the firm will clean the terminals real quick and see if it runs. I doubt it, but we're gonna try anyway. So let's give it a whirl. So let's do the first startup. See if it works.
so now I put the starter in there. Starter is in there. The starter is fucking up. Uh, it's a new starter. So, don't know what to do at the moment. So, I'm trying to figure this out. Now, belt's on this now, so I gotta go find a starter, or it probably has a bad uh, flywheel. So, that's where I'm at with it right now. So, boy. So now, I gotta see if I can turn the, 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 uh, the crank. So let me see if it'll catch. Maybe the crank is, uh, the flywheel is bad. We have to probably try to find another starter. Now it's a brand new starter, but sometimes some brand new starters are not good. I don't know if you have to shim it or whatever you have to do. So now we just gotta have a look into that. I don't know if they're shims. I don't know. Because I know the American cars have shims. Japanese cars don't have shims. I don't think these are supposed to have shims either. They should have the technology to put the damn starter straight in and it should fit. So I'm going to go check and see if it has to be shipped. I doubt it. So, yeah, we got this, that, we got that, we got that, we got that, we got that. Everything is a go. Everything is a go but the starter. So, I'm going to disconnect this battery. And then, I'm going to go back and find a starter.